This is lesson seven in module four. In this lesson, we'll be measuring and drawing angles. Let's start by looking at what we learned in the last lesson, which is how to measure an angle using our 180 degree protractor. So we would line the base ray of the angle up to the protractor. Then we look to see where the second line crosses the protractor. We'd see that this looks like possibly could be 52 or 128. If we look at 50 plus 2 degrees, it could be 52 degrees. Or the other one it goes through is 128. Looking at the angle that we formed, we see that it's less than the 90 degrees that would be a right angle. So that means that the angle is acute. So it can't be 128 degrees. So the correct answer would be 52 degrees. Okay, sometimes we might want to draw, measure an angle that's actually greater than 180 degrees. How can we do that with the 180 degree protractor? Let's look at this possible angle. We're going to call this angle Q R. S. And the angle that we're looking at is this one defined by this arc. So we can see that that's actually greater than 180 degrees. So how can we figure this out? Well, we could use our protractor to figure out this angle. And if we use our protractor, we line one of the rays up with the base of the protractor and read the degrees, we can s we'll see that this is 130 degrees. How can we use what we know about the measurement of circles to figure out what this angle X is? Well, the entire circle, if we continued this all the way around to include the two angles, this one that we can, we can measure with a 180 degree protractor, and this one that we're trying to figure out, the measure of those two angles, the unknown X plus the one we were able to measure, would have to measure 360 degrees because it forms a complete circle. So given that, if we take 360 degrees and we subtract out the angle that we know, we'd be left with three, 230 degrees. And in fact, X equals 230 degrees. So this angle here would be 230 degrees because 230 plus 130 would be 360 degrees, which is a full circle. Let's look at another way of figuring this out. Let's draw our angles again. We're gonna draw the same one We, ang we na named it QRS. And the last time, the prior example, we used 360 and we subtracted out this angle. This time, we're going to think about the fact that if we extend this line out, this angle would have to be 180 degrees because we know that a straight line is 180 degrees. This ray, QR, and this ray, let's call this one RT. If we 
Put those together, we get a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Then we could measure this angle. Line up our protractor and then see where ray RT goes. We'd see that this is 50 degrees. So if we take the 180 degrees in the straight angle plus the, hundred and, plus the 50 degrees, so angle Q, R, S would be the 180 degrees plus the 50 degrees. And once again, we get 230 degrees. So we can figure out this angle that's greater than 180 degrees either by figuring out the opposite angle and subtracting from 360 or like we did here, finding the straight angle measuring what's left and adding them together to get 230 degrees. Okay, let's try practicing drawing an angle using our protractor. Okay, so we're going to draw a ray as our baseline. And let's say we want to draw a 35 degree angle. Well, I've got two possibilities for 30. Here's a 30 and here's also a 30. Now, if I draw, if I use this 30, my angle is going to be starting out in this direction and I'm going to get an angle that's going to go about through here. This would be my angle. If I use this 30 from this, from this baseline, it would go way over here, which is going to be obviously way greater than 30 degrees. So this is our correct measurement of 30. So we are going to make a mark here, just a mark, and then we're going to draw our line from the vertex from the vertex through the mark we made using our straight edge and that will give us our angle. So once again we're going to pick an angle size that we are going to do so let's time this time let's do a uh, obtuse angle. Let's do 150, 134 degree angle. So this time let's start with our ray on the opposite side. So we're going to draw our ray for the baseline. Then we have, we'll look at the two possibilities for 143 degrees. So if I look on the inner circle, here's 140, and my numbers are getting bigger as I move this way. So 143 would be about here. So if I drew, use that as my mark, my angle would be about to this degree. So we, we kind of sketch it to get an idea. That definitely looks like an acute angle. So that's probably not the 143 I want to use. If I go to this side, I have 140. And if I count three more, it would be 143. And this would give me this angle, which definitely looks like an obtuse angle. So this is the number, the 143 I want to use. So I make this little mark here. Then I'll take the protractor away and then we'll draw the ray from our vertex through the 143 and that will give me my 143 degree angle. Okay, let's 
try some of these things that we've learned with our problem set. So for the first one, number one says construct an angle that measures the given number of degrees. For problems one through four, use the ray as shown and one of the rays of the angle with this endpoint as the vertex of the angle. Draw an arc to indicate the angle that was measured. So for number one, I pl placed our protractor along the baseline and then we want a 30 degree angle so we're going to look there's 30 degrees here and 30 degrees here but the one that's going to give me a 30 degree angle an acute angle would have to be would have to be the one that's on this side so we're going to make a mark at 30 degrees and this would be the arc of the angle whereas if I use the one over here I would end up with an obtuse angle I don't want that so that's my mark so now I'm going to draw a lot a ray from the vertex through the mark I made and now I have a 30 degree angle. Okay, you stop the video and do number two. Okay, again, we have our, our ray as a base. And when you take your, when you use your protractor and then take away the protractor afterwards to see what the angle looks like, it's going to be about here. It's about two 30 degree angles together, still less than 90 degrees. Let's go on to number three. We want 115 degree angle. So make sure you realize that that's an obtuse angle. So that'll help you choose the correct 115 number off of your protractor. So when you're finished, your 115 degree angle should be about like that. Okay, stop the video, try number four. Number four is also an obtuse angle. So we should look about like that. Make sure we're going back in and drawing the arc so that we know which of the angles we're talking about. Okay, moving on. Try number five. Okay, for number five, we draw our baseline. And this is gonna be a very small angle, only five degrees, so it's going to just be barely above the baseline ray. And we'll draw the arc to show which one we're talking about. Stop the video and try number six. Now this one is almost a straight line because a hundred and 80 degrees would be a straight line. So this one is almost, but not quite a straight line. So it'll look something like that. And again, we're gonna draw the arc to show which angle we're talking about. Okay, stop the video, try number seven. Okay, we'll start with the baseline. This one will be a little bit less than a 30 degree angle. If you kind of visualize before you even measure about what the angle is gonna look like, it'll help you to make sure you're using the correct number off the protractor. And here's the arc for that one. Pause the video and try number eight.
Okay, for this one, we'll start with our baseline. And if we visualize this, we can see it's going to be a little bit larger than a right angle. When we measure, it looks about like that. And let's draw our arcs for those two. Okay, pause the video and try number nine. Okay, once again, we have our, our base. Try that again. Okay, and this is going to be a little bit more than a 45 degree angle, which we know is half of a 90 degree angle, so we can kind of visualize what it's supposed to look like before we use our protractor. And we draw the arc. And finally, stop the video and try number 10. Once again. Going to make our baseline. And this is going to be an obtuse angle. That would be about here and draw the arc. And you have finished lesson seven.